A meeting of concerned residents and development stakeholders was held in Punta Gorda last evening. Following public outcry over the proposed construction of a service station at the location of the dollar coin, a landmark at the entrance of town. Present for the discussion were a number of interested parties, including hoteliers and private owners. We're a major stakeholder right next door, mm -hmm. the seafront yeah. inn. No one consulted us that this is going to happen. Any of this, and suddenly, where's the wall that would retain, that would keep privacy? It's going to affect it. But this is a systemic problem that has taken place for about 25 years within PG, long before I got here. Because when we had the chance, we did not put into place zoning to where we protected certain areas like the coastline and reserved it for businesses re that are reserved for tourism and residency. I'm not opposed to business. Put in a fishing shop, put in a restaurant, put in a dive shop. No one's opposed to any of this. But my, I have an issue with this. And my issue is, is one, we haven't seen an environmental report. Where's Tide? Where is Tide? Where is, we're going to have now three gas stations. If we get hit by a hurricane, how will we contain the toxic, the hazardous waste that is going to be released back into our marine system? But everyone screams the blues and we stop spear fishing, we stop all kind of stuff out there, yet we are bringing in a major hazard and we don't have the infrastructure in this town. And even if it's a man-made spill of gasoline, how will we contain it? How does Belize City come down here and tell us that our fire department can contain a spill of any kind? If a truck has spillage, of any, these things happen. But if we get a catastrophic event on our seafront, we will have three major issues to deal with that we won't be able to deal with. On Thursday, News 5 spoke with PG Mayor Ashton McKenzie, who informed that the acquisition of the property in question is the result of a private transaction involving the previous owners of the land. He was absent from the meeting where questions were raised about access to the waterfront across from the proposed site. When my, my father and I called, it was simply that we want to collect the facts. We want to know what is happening as is due to us as people from Toledo. What is happening? It was never, it's been taken very personally, but the truth of the matter is we asked those questions because we want to know. We were not attacking anyone. We were not saying anything other than asking to please give us the facts. We hear all kind of thing. Is there a trade license? Has it been issued? And if it was issued, what was your rationale in issuing it, considering what it means to the town, not only to have something in an area that is right at the entrance of the, of the town, also you have two miles and you have four gas stations in a town that I think has what, approximately 6,000 people? So, you know, it was really and truly the gathering here today was to say, you know what, we really want to find out what's happening. You as a person who represents us must have, if not all, most of the answers. Former two-term mayor of Punta Gorda town, Anthony Westby, was also on hand and he weighed in on the origin of the sign that has been erected at the location. Yeah, Mr. Smith came to me with a plan that we put a that dollar coin over there and he had some people who would fund it. And if we agreed to find a spot, so I found that little spot there, which Mr. Mark claimed later on. And Mr. Smith and a guy from Canada, I don't remember his name, directed the dollar kind, and we were in agreement with it, the council, because we thought it was something good for Punta Gorda. After that coin was erected and inaugurated, about three months later, Mr. Mark came to this town, contacted me right here at the office, and he said, who gave you permission to put this dollar coin here? This is a piece of my land. I said, well, I don't know if it's your land, but you'd have to prove that. And if it's in your land, this is for the town. And I don't think anybody who has this town at heart would be so, don't want to give at least a six feet of their land yeah. to put this, uh, this coin. He said, well, you got to pay me $50,000 for that piece of land. Oh. <laughs> I said, well, you have to take me to court because I have money and I won't pay. News 5 understands that all environmental clearances have been given for works to proceed with the construction of a service station at that location. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatam.